Ubi caritas et amor, Deus ibies. Ubi caritas et amor, Deus ibies. Where charity and love prevail, God abides. Where charity and love prevail, our God abides. Ubi caritas et amor, Deus In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, brothers and sisters of St. Camillus, as we gather this evening to begin the celebration of the Triduum, the three days, the three most holy days of our, of our liturgical year when we celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, Jesus' death, and Jesus' resurrection. We gather tonight for this banquet of God's love. We remember the Last Supper when Jesus instituted the Eucharist. We remember tonight in a very special way the command of the Lord to love one another as Jesus has loved us. As we enter into this holy celebration, this triduum, it's um, obvious how we fail at love when we compare ourselves with the infinite love of Jesus Christ. And so humbly, Recognizing our sinfulness, we enter into this celebration, trusting in God's love, in God's mercy, in God's pardon for all of us. Let's take a moment to center ourselves in the Lord and ask for pardon of all our sins. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ eleison. Christ you bring light to those in darkness. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us pray. O God, you have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to us, the Church, a sacrifice new for all eternity, a banquet of your love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's listen now attentively to God's Word. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, Every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake in it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You must keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil of each house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. This is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Sing the cup of life, I will call God's name all my days. I will 
Turn for the goodness of God, this saving cup. I will bless and sing and call the name of God. I will take the cup of life, I will call God's name. dying of those who keep faith is precious to our God. I am your servant, called from your hands. You have set me free. I will take the cup of life, I will call God's name for my days. To you I will offer my thanks and call upon your name. You are my promise for all to see. I love your name, O oh God. I will take the cup of life. I will call God's name all my days. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body, that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I give you a new commandment, says our God. Love one another as I have loved you. Glory and praise to you. O oh Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Absolutely. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. 
he took a towel and tied it around his waist. And then he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. So Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. And Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed, has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him, and for this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So, when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on and reclined at table again. And he said to them, do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and the teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So often we have heard Jesus' command, do this in memory of me. Hundreds of times. In fact, every time we celebrate the Mass, we hear Jesus' command. Take and eat. This is my body. Take and drink. This is my blood. Do this in memory of me. How difficult then, how painful to celebrate a Holy Thursday without being able to receive the body and blood of Christ, without being able to do this in memory of Jesus. How wonderful then that John gives us a very different perspective of the Eucharist in tonight's gospel. As John relates the Last Supper, Jesus shares with us, or he shares with us, John does, a different command from Jesus. Not do this in memory of me, but as I have done for you, you should also do. As I have done for you, you should also do. Every Holy Thursday, these are our marching orders from Jesus. And what is it that Jesus did? He washed the feet of his disciples, washing one another's feet, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, being there with and for each other. That's the core of the Eucharist. That's the true miracle of love. That's what we celebrate most deeply on this Holy Thursday. And being there for one another, and helping each other is something that we still can do even during this time of sheltering in place. Jesus reminds us tonight that power is to be used for service, that the greatest in his kingdom is the one who serves the rest, the one who washes the feet, who helps his brother or his sister. Tonight, Jesus kneels to wash the feet of his followers. Tomorrow, Jesus will hang on the cross to hand over his life out of love for you and for me and for everyone. Jesus' love is so strong, is so great, that all the hatred, all the sin of the world will never be able to extinguish the love of God. And that's what we celebrate in, in three days when Jesus rises from the dead because the love of God is stronger than all hatred and all sin. You know, so often we think of religion as a way to save ourselves. But how strange, isn't it? 
because Jesus shows us that religion isn't about saving ourselves. Religion is about giving ourselves away out of love of God and out of love for others. As I have done for you, you should also do. Pope Francis is tireless in urging us to live this command of Jesus, of loving and serving and helping and being there for one another, the core, the heart of the Eucharist that we celebrate. So let me share with you just a few words from Pope Francis, from his recent document, Evangelii Gaudium, or The Joy of the Gospel. The Pope writes, I prefer a church which is bruised, hurting, and dirty because it's been out in the streets rather than a church which is unhealthy, unhealthy from clinging to its own security. My hope is that we will be moved by the fear of remaining shut up within structures that give us a false sense of security, within, within rules that make us harsh judges, within habits that make us feel safe, while at our door, people are starving. Jesus does not tire of saying to us, give them something to eat. As I have done for you, you should also do. Anyone who has truly experienced God's saving love doesn't need much time or lengthy training to go out and to proclaim that love. Every Christian is a missionary to the extent that he or she has encountered the love of God in Jesus Christ. The primary reason for evangelizing is the love of Jesus that we have received. What kind of love doesn't feel the need to speak of the beloved, to point the beloved out, to make the beloved known? If we don't feel an intense desire to share this love, then we need to pray insistently that God will once more touch our hearts. Do you understand what I have done for you? Do you understand how deeply I love you? Okay, then, as I have done for you, you should also do. O oh Lord, give us the grace to follow Jesus' command. Give us the grace to wash each other's feet. Give us the grace to love as you always love us. We pray this in your name, for you are Lord, now and forever. Amen. We stand now as we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gathered around the table of the Lord, let us pray in love for the needs of all our sisters and brothers throughout the world. Gracious God, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For our church and parish, and for all the people of God, that we may follow the example of Christ who came not to be served, but to serve. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For the nations and the peoples of the world, that Christ's peace and justice may reign forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For the sick and dying, especially all those suffering from the coronavirus, that the peace and healing of our Lord Jesus may be theirs. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may awake and arise in the light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers we offer and help us to welcome your Son each day, that we may know him in the breaking of the bread and in our joyful service of our neighbors. We ask you this through Christ the Lord. Amen. 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 Pray, my friends, that this hour offering may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your, at your hands, hands to the praise, praise and the glory, glory of God's name for our, for our good, good and the good of all the Holy Church. Amen. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these sacred mysteries. For whenever the memorial of Jesus' sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and salvation always, everywhere, to thank you, Lord, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that he sacrificed for us, we are made strong 
As we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the angels and saints, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. This bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Francis and Claire and Camillus, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus, the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Together now with one heart and one voice, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. My Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace Amen. of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer one another a socially appropriate sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we, invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you who are already there deep within and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just a couple of announcements before we conclude this evening. Um, you're all invited to join us tonight at 9 p.m for a simple holy hour with the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament that will be live on our parish 
Facebook. That's tonight at 9 o'clock. Tomorrow, Good Friday at 11 a.m., we will display on our website and Facebook a special, prayerful, multicultural video of the Stations of the Cross, the Via Crucis, capturing our procession tradition. Also, tomorrow, please join us for our Good Friday Passion of the Lord service. It will be at 6 o'clock in the evening in English, 7 p.m. in Spanish, and 8 p.m. in French. And we invite all those who will view the service tomorrow night to, when you come before your tablet or your computer, bring with you a cross or a crucifix so that you'll be able to venerate the cross during that part of the service when we have the veneration of the cross. So tomorrow at 11, 11 a.m. for the Via Crucis, for the Way of the Cross, and tomorrow at 6 in English, 7 Spanish, 8 French for the Good Friday service. May God bless you and keep you safe in these days. Amen. Angelingua gloriosi, coloris misterius, sanguinisque preziosi, quemi mundi preziosi, fructus entris generosi, prexe funti Tam tu mergo sacramento, vini de cuce lui, et antigum documento, no voce da dritui, preste fides supermento, sensum defectui. Genitori, genitoque, los e giubilos io, salus omne virtus quoque, si te benedicio, procedenti abutroque, composit la dazio. Oh.